let's look at two more reasons which favor outsourcing one of them is the from the financial point of view this financial point of view is not cost based but investment based sometimes the time required for you to get this investment in is too short but the demand of this product is rising so much that you need to get this equipment or the process done to reduce the burden of investment sometimes outsourcing partners are used sometimes it can happen that there is only a small increase in demand or there's a new product to be introduced and you have a time lag between when your capability to produce or your capacity to produce will be in online you need then to also look for this particular capacity outside financial commitment or investments are one of the good conditions in which you can go for outsourcing by this i mean you can delay your investments by using somebody else's installed capacity the second part is probably now you need to make use of a component which is totally of a different technology or now you are you're going to assemble a component situations of outsourcing but if you are a manufacturer of steel component and you have a capacity constraint and then you go out based on cost calculations to source it from another person who has a similar technology but supplies you cheaper you keep buying from him and keep giving him the increase in volume he will one day become your competitor but as it's mostly seen that what was expensive for you to make is somehow very profitable for your supplier to make not only that it is often found that the supplier's margin are more than your margin this is not to do with inefficiencies or costing part or his overheads it is primarily to do with your ability to look at the throughput aspect of the business in trying to not do certain activities you are actually losing out throughput of your system in trying to simplify your management you are trying to reduce some activities and in doing so you are losing the throughput of the system the biggest threat of outsourcing is not this the biggest threat of outsourcing is you lose your ability to drive down cost systematically through the supply chain the cost of supply chain goes up at the interface let me begin with another example suppose you have a cell which is only drilling you decide that i'm going to send this whole process out to a supplier or a vendor you ask the person to come and take away all your drilling machines set up a unit outside and keep supplying to you probably he has some less rentals or x y z and he shows you a lesser cost that means he is ready to supply to you at a cost which your accounts department has shown to be x and he supplies you x minus 10% you think that you're going to save 10% and you give it to him but let's look at it from the supply chain point of view now you have a procurement person 
who is going to deal with his procurement person or his supply side. That person has a manager and you have a manager. That means this drilling operation while it was in your premises it only had production people. It had no purchase manager or any other manager who would interact with somebody else. But let's look at it from the supply chain point of view. Now you have a procurement person who is going to deal with his procurement person or his supply side. That person has a manager and you have a manager. That means this drilling operation while it was in your premises it only had production people. It had no purchase manager or any other manager who would interact with somebody else. So in the supply chain where there was only a production unit now this production unit still exists but in a new location along with two more people who are talking to each other. So if you want to truly reduce cost by outsourcing you have to make sure that such overheads are not born in between. Now the bigger problem is not only this you have lost control at the rate at which this output has to come. You have lost the control of taking the benefit of increase of speed of flow of material through the system. This material will now have to travel and travel time is not the speed of conversion from raw material to finished good. So actually your throughput time has gone up. The worst part is if this particular process is an intermediate step you are going to have a spike in your throughput time. That means the rate of flow of material through your system is going to go down. It is good that if this is the first stage or the second stage and you have outsourced both the stages it has a lesser impact on you than if you outsource one of the intermediate steps. So under the conditions where you are outsourcing intermediate steps you are violating the principles of flow and it is a bad condition of outsourcing. And if you are outsourcing the first step and then later on the second step based on the cost calculations only then again it is a bad outsourcing. Whatever you may do your prime job is to make sure that the throughput of the system keeps going up. And if you still want a better financial performance you have to aim at constantly reducing the inventory in the system. But if you have paid for the inventory that means the first stage is yours that means you have bought the raw material processed on stage 1 then the stage 2 and then sent it out for processing at stage 3. Your inventory in the system is going up because the throughput time has gone up and who is bearing the cost of this? You. You have paid for the raw material and the time it takes for you to convert this raw material into finished good has just gone up because two intermediary stages have now been outsourced. If they were within the premises the material would have flowed from one stage to second and out. This is a condition of bad outsourcing. It is often advisable to add maximum throughput to your system. Any money being paid to your suppliers is the money going through your system to the suppliers. It is not your money. It is through this throughput that you make your expenses. So good outsourcing is something which actually increases your throughput or increases the rate of flow of material from your systems. Does not disrupt flow and also does not have a high impact 
on your financial performances. Outsourcing is to a certain degree a necessity and a bigger necessity for small and medium sized companies. But outsourcing can also be used to your benefit if the previous mentioned rules are not broken. That means you add maximum throughput within your premises. You get in raw materials and send out finished good items. However, sometimes this is not possible because of financial constraint and we start relying on our sourcing or sources to help us with increase in volumes. When do we see a threat from this source? How do we know that now this threat is becoming by threat I mean that is this source going to take away my demand or my market or not or is this source making more money than me it can happen that in the bid in in a bid to comply with the increase in volume you started outsourcing a fair amount in trying to outsource you might have also outsourced a big chunk of your throughput for the component it is when you see that your throughput from the component has gone down and your suppliers or your sources throughput is more than yours this is the first sign of threat that this component now can be taken away by your source. However, the source is making also more money than you because if you are interfacing with the customer all the effects of the DMU or all the high level expenses that one needs to make in maintaining an organization are borne by you and he gets away with taking only that chunk of the throughput which benefits him and when that chunk becomes more than your chunk you are under threat this is the threat from your source for forward integration that means he wants to move up the supply chain and when he wants to move up the supply chain he actually adds more activities and when he adds more activities actually he is threatening you on paper his cost will be less you are making some margins but actually you are making much lesser margins than he is making you take the responsibility of inventory you take the responsibility of everything and he has a better control now on his operations so he is also deriving the benefits of scale and most likely he is also a single source because if you have multiple sources for the same operations you know that the financial investment is justified by adding one extra process within your company you are actually not dramatically changing your cost structure the machine will pay for itself and there's just another labor cost rest everything already exists but this source when it gets a hold on certain very important processes and which add a substantial throughput to the component 
this source has now become your threat. My suggestion always has been that try to increase the throughput of your company. So if one intends to increase this throughput, they need to do many things. Yes, you can decrease or you can increase the throughput by decreasing the raw material cost. But there is also a pressure from the selling price side. Your customers are constantly putting a pressure on your selling price. So how does one increase the throughput? This is where when you increase the rate of output, that means when you increase the quantity you can manufacture within 24 hours, you increase throughput of the system. I have seen that most of the companies which were able to increase the rate of throughput per day, they often made more money than the others. By this I mean that the companies which did not improve on the rate of manufacturing, that means the process time remained constant. In fact, in most of the cases it deteriorated. So for the companies where the process time deteriorated, their throughput went down. But the companies who were able to get more throughput, that means the processing time went down and hence they produced more components in 24 hours, they benefited substantially. Many times it is this stagnancy in throughput that is killing a lot of organizations. And then comes in the costing which will generally force you with your calculations to outsource it. This further reduces your throughput. So the threat from your source can be easily recognized when you see that his throughput is more than yours. He has constantly grown in numbers and now he is very well versed with not only one but three to four stages in production and he still gives you enough discounts every year and still makes more money than you. Now this is the threat when this source is trying to forward integrate. There could be another situation where the source which was good is not now supplying to the levels that you expect of him. He promises to supply, he is agreed to your price conditions, but his supplies are faltering. This is a situation where now even the source has found another product where his throughput is more than your throughput. In trying to keep your source secure and you keeping the thread down, it is but natural to see how much of control you have on the throughput of the component. The best control happens when all those operations are done within the premises. The companies which have worked towards converting raw material into finished goods within the premises have often had bigger success than companies which used a multiple of suppliers at various stages of production to finish the component. The threat from the source keeps going up as more and more suppliers take away more of your throughput and if this throughput gets aggregated with one of the suppliers then actually you are giving birth to your competition.